Usually we're talking about various events that you want to take advantage of today and throughout the weekend. But you know what? I also want to say a great thing that's been happening on our program for quite some time is an individual who comes on, keeps us safe, uh, talks about things that are in the world of first responders and is also a veteran himself. We're talking about the amazing Brian O'Keefe and his amazing, uh, what in the world, Brian, did you bring in this morning? His remote control fire truck as he's making his way into studio right now. Woo, woo, woo. Like to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the lights are a flashing. Yeah, I, I had it all mastered. Look at that. Oh, yeah. The Same. beauty of live TV. You know what? The good thing about this. It's, 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 but this is just one of the many tools and toys you have say, here in the city. The, the nice thing about this, sir, is uh, you're retiring. And that's yes, why we're yes, talking yes. about this morning. You have been uh, a fixture that we've gotten used to see so many times here in our program. And we appreciate that. Uh, sharing great advice on how to stay safe in your homes and things like that. But now, finally, you're saying, I'm retiring. Well, I don't like to use retiring. I'm changing oh. jobs. Oh, but, excuse uh, me. Yeah, I've, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, 24 plus years in the fire department. Uh, it's been a blessing, a great experience. The people I've worked with, uh, uh, you know, whether it's uh, the media, the public, uh, dealing with uh, people after some serious, scary events, you know, we go in there and reinforce our message to say, hey, we can keep you safe. You just got to think about it a little bit. Well, we wanted to bring you on the show this morning to say we celebrate you. We thank you for the many years that you've spent time with us. And we look forward to the exciting things that are in your future. Uh, and in the future of today, you're going to have a little going away party, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, the cake and punch, it's a tradition. It's, it's pretty humbling. Uh, you know, the firefighters will stop by throughout the day uh, when, they're, when they have a chance to, to say goodbye. Uh, you know, I'm looking at guys that have been around for, like I said, almost 25 years. Uh, there's some fresh new firefighters replacing me and some guys that have been around a little longer than me, believe it or not. Okay, so if people wanted to stop by, shake your hand, say thank you for everything you've done for our community, can they do oh, that with yeah, the retirement awesome. party today? Sure. Okay, yeah. so when and where is that taking it's, place? It's uh, 1 to 3 p.m. today, okay. 2715 Dean Avenue. It's our big headquarters building way out there towards the fairgrounds, okay. but uh, don't, uh, there'll be fire trucks and people, family, and my daughter's coming in from Iowa City here this nice. morning, and uh, yeah, so you get to meet my wife, the kids, the grandkids, and uh, and I love to swap a few stories. Uh, Absolutely, so I mentioned memories. a lot of first responders will be stopping by, but the public is uh, uh, welcome course, to yeah. stop on by. So one to three today over on Dean Avenue, uh, the big fire station as you're heading kind of towards the state fairgrounds, uh, go, definitely go check that out. Uh, now, since you're leaving, that tells me there's probably a hole or two that they need to fill, because it takes more than one person to replace well, you, right? Yeah, Ryan? they've been talking about this for months, but <laughs> no, just part of the normal uh, function of the fire department, you know, uh, a good buddy of mine, uh, Dave Williams, just retired after 34 years, so it's just a natural attrition. It happens. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So we have some information uh, that they are now hiring, believe it or not, yep. uh, and they're accepting applications. They're looking for some good, uh, brave men and women out there. Uh, the deadline is coming up not too far away, Wednesday, February 6th at 5 p.m. You need to have that application in, and you want more details, you need to go to governmentjobs.com backslash careers backslash Des Moines. So since you're here, Brian, okay, what is it going to take? If I want to say yes, I need to take over where this man left off. Well, what do I need to uh, do well, gonna, well, to be I'm, able to? I'm guessing you're over 21, so we got that part covered. Okay. But, yes, uh, I am over 21. You have to be 21. comfortable, of course, if you're, you know, putting on the gear. That's important. So I got to, oh, I got to, I got to. The big function of the fire service is we're very safety conscious. We take risks, but it's to save others and property. So, I got to enjoy yep, looking gotta good. You got to be able to. Uh, right. Find your wearing a, uh, your bunker pants and gear. These which, are cold. Uh, what have they been sitting outside? Uh, yep, they haven't been right. near a fire recently, so they're probably <laughs> cooled down a bit. But so I gotta, uh, you got to. How quickly do I need to throw this well, on? Well, you don't want to be the last one on the fire truck oh. or the engine or good the ambulance. Uh, the public likes us to have timely response. Oh, okay, good. All this equipment, um, Jeez, this is heavy. we oh. constantly <laughs> upgrade it and improve it. Um, it's still a risky Wait. job. Does of this course. mean I'm not? I, I'm not applicable. Well, I have really short. Well, arms. we we have many sizes. Okay, uh, good. <laughs> appropriate for tall, small, you name it otherwise. All but right. This is all nice clean gear so I don't have to worry about, look at that, fresh set of gloves. Um, right, like I said, part. head to toe we need you covered. You can skip that part. Okay, thank you. Gloves. Gloves. Um, whether it's hot, whether it's sharp, uh, you got to be able to work uh, with, with what, limited what's, dexterity. What's your best time of putting all this on? <laughs> well, you got to be able to get under a minute and you'll master Under it. a minute. Uh, yeah, to go through, go through our academy, of course, uh, you're looking at uh, uh, six weeks of EMT, then you'll do 20 weeks as firefighter training, then you'll do six months as a paramedic training, then you'll do a, f a couple months at the All hospitals. Right. Give me my, give me yeah. my, uh, my Which, tools oh, okay. here. So I'm ready to go. You don't. So this is a nice section. This would okay. be one of three you'd carry into a tall building. So we want to make sure you 
when you get up three, four flights of stairs, that uh, three or four flights of stairs. What? Okay, I got to think, rethink <laughs> this application again. Congratulations, sir. Thank yes. you. Go to his retirement party today, one to three, over Indeed Avenue at the main fire station. We appreciate everything you've done for our community and our country. We'll be back.